Fix your PC isn't connected to the internet when running Microsoft Store. Case study 1, if you're having trouble using Microsoft Store, okay, Windows Store. Solution 1, step 1, check if the date, time, and time zone are set according to your time and time zone. Plan B, use the option synchronize with an internet time server instead. Step 2. The store cache by running userset.exe as the admin user. If you are still facing issues, with it, reset Windows Update component. Warning, serious problems might occur if you modify the registry incorrectly. Therefore, make sure that you follow these steps carefully. For added protection, back up the registry before you modify it. Then, you can restore the registry if a problem occurs. For starters, try reset Windows Update agent at https slash slash gl slash avo7. Step 3, check if you are using some proxies. In IE. If so, disable that option. Step 4, try up. The driver for network adapters and slash or WLA and USB device, if you're running one. And, check if there's something with your ISP's network. Solution 2. One, repeat the above mentioned step two and step three. Step two, check if the router, if you are using one, firewall is blocking the store app. Further on, one, disable security software, if you are using one, and check. Warning, antivirus software can help protect your computer against viruses and other security threats. In most cases, you should not disable your antivirus software. If you do have to temporarily disable it to install other software, you should re-enable it as soon as you are done. If you are connected to the internet or a network during the time your antivirus software is disabled, your computer is vulnerable to attacks. 2. Try using a different router device. 3. You may check the router manual to disable the built-in firewall temporarily or, contact the device com any possible hardware issue. Note, you may need to provide the maker and model of the router. 4. If you are using some a WLAN, wireless, USB stick, like AVM Fritz, WLAN stick or another one where the software controls the network connection and does not report the connection state to the wireless connection state to Windows, you need to force Windows to control this wireless device or if you cannot establish a connection without the vendor tool, you have to look out for a new driver or stick that supports Windows, 8. Hint, for the Fritz, WLAN and stick users, 
Run the following hotfix driver at https slash slash gl slash rdzv8l. You could run the following commands using the admin access, IP protocol configuration slash flushedns ping n1w1ws gaunt.apps.microsoft.com. IP protocol configuration slash displaydns clip and slook up ws gaunt.apps.microsoft.com. And, try using a different DNS server at https slash slash gu.gl slash zxc2 re. For instance, you change it to the generic Google DNS 8.8.8.8 or 8.8.4.4. Solution 3. Off current system account or Microsoft account you are using. Relog in your Windows using a different ID later. Run wsreset.exe afterwards. Note, if you are unable to create Microsoft sign in, see the below troubleshooting page at https slash slash gl slash sme2. Sign up for a Microsoft account. Other voices on the web, 1. Run the network troubleshooter, 2. Run the modern UI app troubleshooter at https slash slash gu.gl slash woc103. Create a new user account or export hkey underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash current version backslash internet settings and all sub keys to a folder that can be accessed by both accounts. Switch back to the failed user. Backup and then delete the same key from the failed user account. Import the saved rig file above from the new user account. Log off, log back in. 4. Enable the TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1, and TLS 1.2 settings in IE. Warning, using TLS 1.1 at your own risk. 5.
Make sure both Windows Event Collector and Windows Event Log are checked. 6. Reset IE, and restart your computer later. 7. For Windows 10 users, deactive the network adapter and enable it again in Device Manager. For Windows 8.1 users, could run the following commands using the admin access. Netshare and IP reset C colon backslash resetlog.txt. Netshare and IP reset C details at https slash slash gu.gl slash up for one. How to reset TCP slash IP by using the Netel utility. 8. Try bypassing your router, if you are using one, e.g., patch your PC directly to your modem. 9. For power users only, do some diagnosis to refine your symptom description, running Fiddler 4, e.g. for its enable lookback exemption, could help. Alternatively, run the following two commands. Reg delete HKCU backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows self host slash F reg delete HKLM backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows self host slash F end, copy all the below commands at HTTPS slash slash gu.gl slash HQQZ7 and then paste M into CMD and hit enter. 10. Try the following. CMDS as admin, netshare interface IP4 reset netshare winsock reset restart PC afterwards. 11. Download and run the following two diagnostics troubleshooting wizards, apps.diagcab at https slash slash gu.gl slash gjyekc and microsoft accounts.diagcab at https slash slash gu.gl slash bxmco. Both are safe downloads from Microsoft. Run wsreset.exe afterwards. 12. Restart your PC and check if your internet connection will work later. 13. Perform the clean boot mode. 14. Perform an in-place upgrade. See related tips and info at https slash slash gu.gl slash 4gv21j. How to perform an in-place upgrade with Windows 10 step-by-step -step guide and https slash slash gu.gl slash xqpgmy. In-place upgrade to Windows 10. Case study 2, you Run OneDrive for Windows 10 or Windows 8 due to the same error. Solution, run the SFC Scano tool, SFC slash Scano. For OneDrive for business, SharePoint, users. Head to TechNet forum at https slash slash gu.gl slash ebxdpc. For better suggestion.